You both said today that you love each other and I believe it, but I'm trying to tell you love is not enough for a successful marriage. There are so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. I don't think my husband loved me anymore. And we just stopped being affectionate, stopped having sex. I know he's cheating. I seen in the phone, he was like, he was finna go have sex with the, the girl. So both of you were saying things you did not mean, and he ended up having sex with someone you told him to go and have sex with. Is there any wonder that we are here? Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Thomas versus Thomas. Thank you, Juan. Washika Thomas. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your husband, Kelvin Thomas. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. The two of you have been married 13 years. You say he is a serial cheater. You say, sir, she is insecure and controlling. Yes. And you're on the verge of a divorce. Yeah. And you're here in divorce court to talk about it. I'll hear from you, Ms. Thomas. Tell me what's happening. Well, Your Honor, I don't think my husband loves me anymore. Um, he cheats, and I'm just tired of it. And you've been together for 14 years and married for 13 years? Yes. That's a long time, Mr. Thomas. What do you have to say about what she's alleging today? Oh, uh, well, Your Honor, um, I don't cheat. I feel that uh, she thinks that I cheat because it's a couple incidents that might have happened, but um, nothing happened with the person that she thinks. What does might have happened mean? Um, she thinks it went further than, I guess, a text or something like that. Oh, okay. Or, you know. Okay, so you're saying that you've had some conversations about cheating, but you've never actually done it? No, I never ever talked about cheating at all. I just have, like, female friends. Okay, so why do you say he's a serial cheater then? Your Honor, you know how men are. When they I, get I don't caught, know, Ms. When Ms. they Thomas, get caught up me. in their lies, they're gonna say they're not cheating when I know he's cheating. Mm. Do you have any examples of that? Um, I have a text message. Well, he said that he just has female friends. Let me see the text messages. Who's in the gray? He's in the gray. Where are we meeting at? I can't wait till we get this room. Someone says, wear that black lace joint. Sir, are these your text messages? Uh, they don't look like mine, but, uh... I don't text like that. Did you? Oh, so these are not your text messages? No, Where'd you get the messages from? I don't, I don't I'm on his phone. He said I snoop on his phone all the time. I want you to touch me everywhere, all over this body. Whose body is being talked about here, sir? I have no idea. She so you... do. She do a lot of snooping. Like she'll go through my phone. Um, like she'll say a, a, a picture of a girl and like, you like this girl? Like, oh no, I just like beautiful women. Like... But you're also married, sir. There's nothing wrong with. Finding other women beautiful, but I just want to know about the text messages if you're, if you're having these kinds of conversations. That didn't come out my phone. Okay, because you say she snoops a lot. So, ma'am, according to him, you have manufactured evidence here in court today. Yes. What yeah. else do you have? This lady knocked on the door. And it's supposed to be one of his clients. And he's supposed to be helping her move, but, you know, why is she knocking at my door asking for you? And then, when he get back, they're fussing, like, they're finna have sex. You know, like, when you mad at somebody, you want the angry sex. That's how it was. You can hear her fussing through the phone. I'm like, wait a minute, are y'all having sex? Are y'all, you know, doing the doo-doo? What do you do for a living, sir? Um, I do... I'm independent. I do a lot of things. You do a lot of different things. Yeah. So she was a client. And she showed up at your house, you say? Yes, and knocked on the door, asked for one. Well, maybe she was upset about the move or something not uh, going well with no, work. No, 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 no. Not the way she looked well, at me. Well, uh, what really happened was the lady didn't want to pay us, and I just gave up because she wasn't paying enough. And that's what the dispute was about? Yeah. You said that there was a, and I'm going to quote you, a freaky woman on the phone one day last year. Yes. What happened? I seen in the phone... You know, he's saying what, what kind of lingerie he want to see her in and... You overheard I... a phone conversation? No, I seen the text. Oh, you saw the text messages? Yes. Did you ask him about these text messages? Yes. What did he say? He, like, denied it at first, but then I'm like, you don't even want to see me in nice lingerie, you know? Did you ever tell someone you wanted to see them in nice lingerie, sir? No, I, I don't recall that so, at all. So, I know you may say you don't recall, but do you think it's possible that you had that conversation via text with someone? Um, I would say might about four or five years ago, like when she had her injury and she was going through a couple of things. She got injured at her job, mm -hmm. and we just stopped being affectionate, stopped having sex. Uh, 
stop going places, you know, just stop really hugging each other, kissing each other, just like pushing me off every time I try to, you know, talk to her. So that's probably why she would think I'm cheating. So I don't know. Because of that job injury, it sort of changed the nature of your relationship in terms of the physical affection. Exactly. And you say you weren't cheating, but you were reaching out to other women. Female friends. Well, Your Honor, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it was an old school friend that came with a lot of friends because we do music and they went to the club and he ended up messing with her. He was like, he was finna go have sex with the, the girl. He told was, you that? Yes. And I was like, okay, well, go, go ahead and have sex with her then because he's gonna do what he want to do regardless. And is that what he did? Yes. You know how you get into, like, an argument and you say things that you might no, not mean? No, no, I don't know. I want you to explain this well, to me, Mr. Thomas. Well, for, uh, I guess, like, two or three years, she would tell me, go get you some. Like, I can't do nothing with you. Oh, so go she was get, telling you to do it? Tell me. You so, were telling him? Because he said that he was going to go do it. No. So, so you mean, were no. telling him repeatedly to go do it? If he says he's gonna go, you know, have well, sex with So why are you someone, mad because he did it? No, I'm not mad. It's, it's the point is, okay, say for instance, he doing what he's doing, but when someone wants to get into me like that, you know, because I don't cheat. I might have a phone call. But is it cheating people. if you told him to do it? Or did you tell him and you didn't really mean it and you're mad because he did it? No, I, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't have sex because So you meant I was it injured. when you said go do it? Yes, I did, because he wanted to have sex. He couldn't have sex with me. I couldn't even move. Like, I was stuck in the bed for several months. I'm gonna ask you, why are you playing childish games? You get to a point where you get tired of somebody telling you to go have sex with somebody. Go, go out and do what you do. So what happens when I want to go have fun? Why is she posting like sexy pictures all over the internet for other men to see? Miss Thomas, is that you? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Were you twerking? First, I'm sorry to hear about your injury, but I am really happy to see you looking amazing Thank and beautiful you. and recovered in court today. But you gave him permission at the time. And I know you were going through a difficult because time. Because I, I couldn't do anything, and he said that's what he wanted to do, but so Ms. Thomas, I Thomas, just... when you get married and you make a commitment mm -hmm. and you talk about the marriage vows mm -hmm. for better and for worse, so when someone actually experienced worse, that doesn't mean, okay, so now that we're going through a rough patch, let's go, we're gonna disregard all those other vows because this is our worst time. That's when you stick together even more so. Yeah. To help you get through that time period because you come out on the other side. That's right. This doesn't but, just happen because I'm injured. But it's here's like... what happened. You said it and you thought it would make him happy. He said it was what he wanted to do, but in your heart of hearts, that's not what you really wanted to happen. No, it wasn't. But you told him, you said it, and according to him, you said it repeatedly. So I'm not gonna beat up on him today. Cause we, listen, we, we beat up on people all day, every day in divorce court. But why do we, we have a lot to of be... people come in, they don't know the truth from a lie. Mr. Thomas, <laughs> so far, what he said is, you get, he didn't cheat. Technically, he is correct. So what happens when I want to go have fun? Well, here's the difference. He didn't tell you, go out and have sex but that's with not somebody fair. else. It's not fair. Your well, Honor. you, I'm, I'm telling you the rules that were established in the Thomas household. Yes, Your Honor. Is that what you really meant during that time period? That no, you needed I really to step didn't. outside? I was trying to get a reaction out of her, so she probably would, you know. So both of you were saying things you did not mean and he ended up having sex with someone you told him to go and have sex with. Are, are, is there any wonder that we I are did, here? I didn't have sex with her, though. That's the that's point about it. But you said you did. I didn't. You said he did. Yes. She said I did. He told me he did. No, I didn't. And I'm going to ask you, why are you playing childish games? If no, that's what first, you're doing. The first time was in a reaction, but when coming back to her and talking to her and telling her I'm texting people and, you know, going there, when she going to my phone and stuff like that, it's just, you know, it get to a point where you get tired of somebody telling you to go have sex with somebody. Go, go out and do what you do. Because you're going so you to do it if you, you want to. Forced, you don't know if he's going to do that. You can't say, I know that he's going to do this anyway, so I may as well give him permission. That's a way of self-protectionism and what it really is is self-sabotage. Because you think you're actually in control of this situation by saying that to him, and you're really not. Because it's not what you really want. If she don't have time to have sex with me, why is she, like, posting, like, sexy pictures 
all over the internet for other men to see. She oh, doing, is that what you do with Miss Sophie? Doing he don't like. He don't like pictures when we men, first met. All your type honor. of stuff like that. So you know. When we first met, you honor, um, he would take sexy pictures of me, but now he likes to for me to look kind of raggly, I guess. Cause so I you're, lost you're so taking much these weight. photos yourself now? Are yeah, you, I do. Are you doing gymnastics, Miss Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Thomas, are you putting these photos on the internet mm. now? Um, I do sometimes. I mean, because I oh, like to model, I like to sing. Cool. I mean, I like to dance. But he don't seem like he's interested in me anymore. Mm. So you're getting attention from other people? Yes, because he don't give it to me. Well, what do you And when he attention? does, it's like I'm not there. Miss Thomas, is that you? Yes, it is, Your Honor. What, what were you doing? Were you twerking? I didn't see that. Yes, I was having fun. I used to twerk with him. Miss Thomas says she is bedridden no more. And then he talked about my arms, because I lost a lot of weight. So sometimes those words get to me, mm -hmm. you know? I don't say anything about her body that's demeaning it. I just say, like, why don't we go work out together? Do you understand you cannot say that to a woman? How she hears it is, you got a few extra pounds you need to lose. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Where are the two of you now in this marriage? Um, we're separated right now. Because you actually believe that he stepped out of your marriage and betrayed you even outside of the times that you told him to go and get it from somewhere else, right? Yes. Well, you know, one of the things I want you to do is stop saying things you really don't mean. Just try to keep yourself from being hurt because you think someone is going to cheat anyway. Well, Your Honor, my husband, he tells me that I need to find some millionaire or some doctor or some singer or some rapper to be with because he can't, satisfied me materialistic. Like, I like to look like this every day, you know? And then he talk about my arms, because I lost a lot of weight, and the weight is stuck in my arms, so I have saggy skin right here. So sometimes those words get to me, mm -hmm. you know? When you're in a marriage, you're supposed to uplift each other. You're mm -hmm. a team. And even if you mess up, you're supposed to keep going because you have mistakes. Mm -hmm. But I just want him to step up and be with me if he's gonna be with me. If not, you know, just let me go. What do you have to say about that? First, are you, are you saying things to her about her looks, uh, making comments about her body? Well, um, I think everybody get heated at times and they say things they don't mean. She said a lot of stuff that she don't mean. Well, mm -hmm. it's an example right there. But um, I don't say anything about her body that's like demeaning, anything like that. I just say like, why don't we go work out together? But it might not come out like that sometimes. Do you doing understand argument. you cannot say that to a woman? <laughs> How she hears it is, you got a few extra pounds you need to lose. She looks amazing. Everything that she's been she, through. She does, I agree. I she's agree. come out on the other side. I agree. She looks amazing. She the looks only beautiful. thing you should be commenting about her body is you look amazing. I agree. Now, I know she wants the whole world to see it. Now, that's another conversation. Yeah. But... She does look amazing. Give her credit for that. You she do. went through a really tough time. You look good, baby. And actually, that makes it a little bit more understanding why she's posing and posturing on social media because Miss Thomas knows she's brand new right now. Yeah. And they're all complimenting her, so she's getting all these compliments on social media, and you're saying, why don't we go to the gym? So, she so you understand? Her. You understand I got, that? I got to that. Okay. So, from what I understand, the two of you worked past the infidelity. You deny it. Yeah. I, I, but she says she forgave you for it. So, nevertheless, you worked past it. She wants to continue the marriage. Are you willing to do the same? I bet. I think we need counsel. Like, to um, be honest, very honest, because she could say that, but then the next day it'll be something else, and um, she'll take it to another place. She sent me, like, Text messages, like nasty text messages after she don't have a way. We was what does she say in those nasty text messages? You don't take me nowhere. We don't go anywhere. Like, I work like what I you was You think working. that's nasty? Sir, have you ever watched this show? 
Well, to me, it's nasty text messages. Like, you don't take me no more. You take Have you no ever heard you. what people say to each other? You're not the person that I love. Mm -hmm. She said that to me. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I don't want to have sex with you. She said that to me. Mm -hmm. That's nasty. Is there anything else you want to say? Yes, and then sometime I have to borrow money from him and give it back to him. Because right now, he's the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting myself back together, mm -hmm. on track. Mm -hmm. Look at this. <laughs> I had to do my own nails and then these popped off. Is it? Because. Is it like that? What? Tell her why if, I like if, that. If, if, if I asked him to get my nails done, I would you have to pay the money back to him. Mm. Wait, you only had money to get one hand done? Mm -hmm. No, I did these. I started doing them myself, but then oh, when okay. I got here, these right here started popping <laughs> off. So I'm like, I have to borrow money from Sir, him. Sir, take her to a nail salon. I do. Okay. The two of you obviously need to work on your communication, and I think counseling would be great because it's been so long, you've been through so much, but if you do want to work on it and you say counseling is the way, I think that's good because people evolve over time. Mm -hmm. You've both hurt each other at some point in this marriage, and the only way you can move past that if you have true forgiveness. Now, she says she's forgiven you for yeah. some things in the past, so the question is, can you also exercise that forgiveness for the ways that you've been hurt? And I'm not going to minimize the ways that you say you've been hurt. But those messages, I want you to take me out, I want you... That's not nasty, she's just stating a fact. But let's communicate it in a better way. I think counseling would be good because then you can talk about ways to communicate and ways you can continue to heal going forward. I have an aftercare specialist that is on standby to talk to the two of you today. You have 14 years invested in this relationship, 13 years marriage, you got something worth fighting for. But what happened when he says, I want a divorce every time. I want a divorce even around my friends. I want a divorce. You know, it gets to me. You well, you know, can, And you can't do that. Both of you have to stop weaponizing your words and saying things unless you really mean them. If that's what you really want to do, when you talk to the counselor after the show, discuss it. Yeah. Have a discussion, but it's, if, if it's not what you really want, I need I need you to stop doing that. I need y'all to stop saying things that you don't really want to happen just because you want to hurt each other. And he's not a bad person. It's just he don't treat me the way that he should. Well, treat that me. is why, Miss Thomas, you are out here in these internet streets <laughs> looking for attention elsewhere. And I, sure I, I understand am. that. And Mr. Thomas, I need you to hear what your wife is saying. I need you to listen to each other. Okay. Stop talking for once and open your ears to what the other one is saying. She's been very clear today. I want you to think about what you did in the beginning as you go forward. The dates that you took her out on, the attention, the love, the affection. Because if that's worth fighting for to you, then the two of you do the work to fight for it. Yeah. Because we don't go anywhere anymore. <laughs> I mean, we used to do music okay, together. Me... We don't even do that okay. anymore. I understand, Ms. Thomas. You have expressed yourself clearly here today. And I already got you a nail appointment when you leave. <laughs> and now you're going to talk to the counselor. Oh, yeah, Good luck to up. both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Faith verdict was very good. I don't know what lies ahead of the future, but hey, I'm willing to work. The verdict was um, pretty accurate, and I think she uh, did a pretty good assessment of our uh, case. Oh, Judge, get my nails done, yay! Um, I think it will do uh, a lot uh, good for our um, marriage. We just gotta take it one step at a time, basically. Well, like I said, I'm willing to work on it and I just have to keep my mouth closed sometimes and just go with the flow, I guess. I really love this woman. Um, been with her for 14 years and I think it really shows, but we gotta do a little bit better.